Hello, everybody. You can take a seat. Everybody, you can take a seat now, including you, El Masa. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Match Day 2022. <laughs> um, so my name is Haley Burge, and I'm the class president for the Syracuse campus. Hi, everyone. Welcome as well. Um, I'm Tyler, the president for the Binghamton campus. Um, we'd like to like thank you all for being here, the families, our classmates. We did it. We made it. We're here. <laughs> I really just can't believe this day is finally here. I mean, I feel like we just moved into Geneva, and so that was somehow almost four years ago. Um, but we've just been through so much the last four years, um, and we've been through so much together. I mean, we've the things that we've gone through the last four years, I, I feel like there are no words to describe. Um, and I think one of the biggest things that I learned in med school is that even when you think that you don't, there are so many people like supporting you and rooting for you in your corner. And like going through medical school and going through like a really difficult time in my life during medical school, I feel like I really realized that. And I really hope that you all know that there have been so many times that I've just, you know, like run into you and in like before a shelf or something and been like, oh, like I know that they want to go into the specialty. I really hope that they do well on this shelf. And, you know, thinking like before step one, like, oh, I know they want to go into something competitive. I really hope that they get a score on step one that they really want to get. So I'm rooting for all of you and I hope that you know that, and I hope that you go into the rest of your career remembering that this is a field, and medicine is a field where we're all supporting and working with each other. And you know, like it's an honor that we get to be in a career that we really get to work together to impact people's lives, and I think that's just such a special thing, and I hope that you guys all remember that and all remember to support each other through everything. And thank you so much for um, everything that you've done for me and for the last four years, so congratulations and thank you. I should have spoke first so Haley could have ended with that. Um, I'm so happy to see you all here. I know the room's buzzing, you know, we're anxious, we're excited. The people who aren't as anxious and are, you know, keeping it all together on the inside, we all know what they really are, so don't worry. Um, that'd be me. Um, I'm very happy that we're all able to come together and gather for this moment. Um, I think it's been a long four years for us, but it also seems just like yesterday that we've, that we've started. Um, and I'm very excited to be here with all of you. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you a rundown on how today goes. No matter what happens, we're opening our envelopes at 12. So when you see this, when you see this, this list, whatever's happening, we'll move it out of the way. We're going to open our envelope at 12. We'll, we'll move Dean White off the stage if we have to, but we're going to open them at 12. So don't worry about that. Um, but basically, we're going to hear a few words from Dean Chin, uh, President Dewan, and uh, Dr. Charlam, and then we're going to present some awards, and then after that, we're going to kind of play the match day video and another surprise video we have for you guys. And as we go through that, we'll kind of start handing out envelopes throughout that process, and we'll kind of go through that, okay? All right. So we're here. We did it. Um, let's get the, let's get the, get the show on the road. All right? <laughs> Do you want to introduce them to me? Um, so first, we're going to have Dr. Chin, um, the Dean of the School of Medicine, up here. Thank you. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. It's, uh, it's a real uh, pleasure, privilege for me uh, to be your dean, the uh, first dean of the Norton College of Medicine, uh, which uh, we are so grateful to the Nortons for this incredible gift. Um, and I think uh, we should all be very proud uh, to be affiliated and alums of the Norton College of Medicine. It's truly an honor. Uh, I think we're the best medical school in this country. So. Um, congratulations to all of you. I'm 
I want to start first by thanking the friends and families of our graduates. Uh, this day, just like graduation, uh, belongs to you. Uh, I, I know firsthand what it, what it means uh, to have had the support of my family as I went through uh, my process of being a student and, and then trainee. Um, it can't be done without your work, your uh, blood, sweat, and tears, uh, your financial resources. Um, it is uh, truly a sacrifice. And I know that all of uh, our students um, thank you, and I thank you as well. So this is a big round of applause for you. Uh, for our students, uh, I thought about um, what uh, someone asked me yesterday at the, uh, the pre-match um, celebration uh, about advice that I might give. And so um, I think there are two things that come to mind for me. So first of all, uh, recognize that you are a student always and that you are just starting your journey. You've completed that first step. And you'll remember, even with this first step of being a medical student, that every point, there is always someone that you were looking up to and aspiring to. So when you're a first year student, you probably look at Envy with the third year students and their short white coats and their stethoscopes that uh, they've got in their pockets or you know the really fancy ones have them around their neck um, or over a shoulder, whatever the style is. Um, and that probably seemed like something that was unattainable. Uh, and then when you're a graduating uh, student, you certainly look at the interns. Um, and in my day, the interns still wore short white coats uh, and then the interns looked at the long coats, the residents that got to wear uh, the long white coat as, uh, as really the next step, and the chief residents. And on down the line, um, and so you are always learning. And, and when you become a resident, and you're an intern, and you're looking at your patient, and wondering what to do, remember that you have to rely on those uh, that have gone before you, those, that, those people that you can count on for advice, because there's no step in any of our careers where we aren't facing something new or a, uh, an old problem with a new twist and we don't have experience or we don't know what to do. And you have to feel comfortable and you have to have the support system around you. Who are those senior residents or even colleague fellow interns that have gone through this, that have maybe seen a similar patient and this is what worked for them. So remember that you are gonna have to rely on others at every step. This is a team sport and we have to work together for the patient. Uh, the other thing that I want to um, remind you about is you can never forget about the patient. Um, you are going to find yourself very busy. You're going to find yourself uh, on rounds. And sometimes rounds are really meant for getting the work done. That means going around, seeing everybody, you don't have time to really stop and chat because you're trying to get the work done so that you can get started with the day. Uh, those are work rounds and uh, you're gonna have those. But when you have work rounds and you don't have time for the patients, remember to stop back and, um, and I hope you take the opportunity to go back and see some of those patients and sit down with them and have a conversation. Uh, you know, it's very tough being a patient. You are stuck in a room all day. 
If you're lucky, you've got a window. Um, you're hooked up to devices. Uh, most of the time, people are coming in and doing something to you, and they don't really have time to even say hi. So, um, so always remember that those are humans in that bed, and that sometimes the best thing you can do is to go in and sit down and have a conversation with them. You know, at no point in your career aren't, are you not going to have a situation where it's your first time doing something. Doesn't matter how long you've been in the field, there's almost always a first time for something. A new medication, a new procedure, um, and I bet most of the time when you do that for the first time, you're not telling the patient, hey, this is my first time, so don't worry. Um, but believe me, there is going to be a first time for every single thing that you do. Now, you are going to be well trained. You're going to have people that you're going to be able to rely on so that even though it might be your first time doing it alone or doing it this way, there are people that are going to help you to make sure that that first time is going to be as good as somebody's tenth or somebody's hundredth time. But you also have to remember that these patients that let you do something to them for the first time, that's an incredible level of trust. and. Um, and I think certainly uh, if you are in that position and someone's doing something for the first time, you will recognize that it's part of the educational process that we can't train our next physicians um, without having them do something for the first time. But respect that. Uh, make sure that you are always doing things to the best of your ability that you're using your resources so that it's for the best to the patient. And I think you're all going to be fantastic. So again, congratulations on this very exciting day. I can't wait to see uh, the video. Um, and I can't wait to see uh, where you all end up. Congratulations again. Thank you, Dean Chin. Next up, we're calling up Dr. Dewan, the president of Upstate Medical University. Thank you all very much. Um, I think we are on our way I'll disagree a little bit with Dean Chin. We're on our way to being the best medical school in the country. But I will say with absolute confidence um, that Dean Chin is the best dean of any medical school in the country. So thank you, Dean Chin. <laughs> Again, I'm delighted to welcome all of you. It's wonderful that we can have this in person a special warm welcome to the families and for the families who brought little children who we heard, I'm particularly grateful. Thank you for bringing the little ones. We are never too early recruiting for the next class of brilliant. <laughs> so, um, Dr. Welch is at the back taking names and photographs, so we will track you. But thank you. The families are special uh, and thank you for being here. On May 1st, you will celebrate becoming a doctor. And there will be much to celebrate, all your hard work and all your talent. But there may be even more to celebrate today. And I want to give you a slightly different context. Match day is even more special than commencement. A doctor cannot practice without one year of residency. Today, you will start that journey to get a year under your belt to be able to get a license to practice and fulfill your dream of serving your patients in the way 
you want in the specialty that you have chosen. Today is the first and necessary step in growing from a doctor, we think that's the end, but it's not, to a physician, which is what you really want to be. So today there will be a lot to celebrate. We know you will be wonderful physicians, and we are proud to call you ours. I love that, future physician. We know you will get terrific training wherever you go, even number nine on your carefully constructed list. You will get very good training at each of these programs. But I will add my prayers today to side with that part of you that so desperately wants to be in the top few that you would like. Physicians to be, it's time to celebrate. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Dr. Dewan. Okay, up next we have Dr. Charlam, who is the Upstate College Medical School class of 1988. I'm just making sure I read that right. Um, and he is currently the president of the Medical Alumni Foundation Board of Directors. So please welcome Dr. Charlam. Great, great, thank you. On behalf of the Upstate Medical Alumni Foundation and our entire office over in, in Centner, uh, we want to wish you congratulations on the upcoming graduation, of course, but also on the imminent match. I must say that this is the first match day that I've been at since I matched myself, uh, and, and that was about 1988. Uh, at that point, uh, it was not such a production, I must say, in terms of an event, and this is a beautiful event. We, we ended up just walking over to the cab in the lobby, and we lined up alphabetically at the various kind of corresponding tables, and we got our envelope. And that was, that was, that was the, the simple, simple days. And, and then I do remember the screaming and the cheering and, and the crying that, that occurred after that. But, but uh, it, was, it, was, it was straightforward, and, and certainly this is much more impressive, and, and the reception last night was, was beautiful also. Um, I have to say that I personally did very well in the match then, and, and I'm still here at Upstate today, so I've been very happy with that. The Upstate Medical Alumni Foundation is your connection to Upstate going forward, and we want to keep that connection with you. We want you to be active, and we also want to make sure we have your contact information. Uh, people move, and, and we want to make sure we, we have the ties with you, and, and if there's anything we can do, we're, we're here for you. Uh, I, wish, I wish you all, uh, to, I wish for all to do, do good uh, in, in, your, in your careers, and, and, and be well, and thank you. We're going to get things moving along, so that's why Dean White's already uh, right up here. <laughs> so we'd like to now introduce Dean White. Me. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are, so yes, we are so excited. Yes. Okay. So I get the honor of reading all of the awards, but because Tyler has the hook, um, and is ready to pull me off stage at any given moment. I'm only going to read the name of the award and the person or persons who are receiving it. Um, there are descriptions in your program um, that, that will give you the skinny on each award, um, but I'm kind of feeling the need to hurry up. So everybody good with this plan? Yes? Okay. Here we go. So, the American College of Emergency Physicians Medical Student Professionalism and Service Award. Hey, Sarah Rosenwig, this one goes to you. Okay, Debbie Downer here. We're going to have to hold the applause until I go through a few, and then we'll do one big applause because I'm worried about time. So, as your name is called, Sarah, you're going to go over and grab your award and have your picture taken with Dean Chin. 
Okay, so don't clap, we don't have time. Okay, here we go. The AMWA Glasgow Rubin Citation for American Achievement. We have a number of recipients. Margaret Mandato, Bethany Marbacher, Julia Norton, Alyssa Purdy, M Marissa Rice, Sarah Ruthen, and Almasa Tolovic. You're not following directions. Hold the applause. The Binghamton Campus Department of Family Medicine Award. Amasa, you got it again. Okay, just bring it. Just bring the applause. She is also the recipient of the Binghamton Campus Department of Neuroscience Award and the Psychiatry Award. The Binghamton Campus Department of Internal Medicine Award, Julia Mayer. The Binghamton Campus Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology Award, Justin Patricia. Binghamton Department of Pediatrics Award, Priscilla Asada. The Binghamton Surgery Award, Patrick Castle. The Binghamton Campus Ronald Kraskowski Award, I did not say that correctly, is An Aniele Musis. The Dr. Bruce Farrell Award, Dominic Fachaponte. The Dr. David Murray Orthopedic Surgery Award, Sean Canasaro. Hey, Sean, you're also getting the David Turner in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Award. He doesn't get as much applause for that one? Okay. All right. Um, how about this one? Sean also, oh, nope. Nope, I'm sorry. The Dean of Student Affairs Award. Silence. Haley Burge. The Dr. Ernest Carhart and Dr. Paul Palmer Award, Tyler Fuller. The Excellence in Admissions and Student Recruitment Award, Justin Patricia. The Excellence in Anatomical Sciences Award, Zachary Farina. The Excellence in Emergency Medicine Award, Stephen Lucas. The Family Medicine Faculty Scholarship Award, Maddie Garcia. The Dr. Harry F. Feldman Freed Preventative Medicine Award is going to Gary Schmorgan. The Dr. Herbert Laurie Award, Katherine Schumacher. The Dr. Howard Weinberger Award in Pediatrics, Marissa Rice. The Dr. James Potts Medical Principals Award, Amy Lisa Phillips. The Dr. John, John Bernard Henry Endowed Scholarship. The recipient is Acadia Fairchild. Should I slow down? How are we doing on photos? Are we backed up a little? We, keep it roll. I hear over here. We don't care, Dr. White. Just keep it rolling. Okay. The Dr. and Mrs. Earl J. Kelsey Memorial Endowment Award is going to Julia Norton. The Dr. Mark Hollander Psychiatry Award, Ishak Noel. The Medical Alumni Foundation Achievement Award is going to Marissa Rice. 
The Medical Society of the State of New York Community Service Award is going to Malcolm Philogene. And the Merck Manual Award is going to a number of students, Eric Baim, Margaret Mandato, Bethany Marbacher, Julia Norton, Marissa Rice, and Sarah Ruthen. The Outstanding Medical Student in Urology Award is going to Alexander Popovic. The Dr. Stuart German Award is going to Hannah Kalela. Kalea, I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry, what? Hold on a moment. Hold on. I have to go back to one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anastasia's getting the Urology Award as well. Evidently, I missed that. I'm trying so hard to make sure you get the envelopes at noon. I apologize, Anastasia. Okay, the Upstate Emergency Medicine Medical Student Professionalism and Service Award, Rebecca DeFabio. The Upstate Emergency Medicine Excellence Award is already done. Okay. No. The Upstate Emergency Medicine Excellence Award, which is different than the previous one, is now going to Margaret Mandato. And the Dr. William Williams Award in Internal Medicine, Justin Patricia. Okay, those are all the student awards, except for we have iPads for two students who filled out the GQ, the graduation questionnaire that we have been bugging you about. Megan Tatusco and Hassan Salah. Your iPad awaits. Okay, I'm now going to move into the faculty awards. And again, these are, these are awards that you voted on um, for faculty. You know what, we're gonna wait on the faculty awards, just in case, we're gonna wait. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the match that's coming up in 17 minutes. Okay, so 151 students participated in a match program. Two were in urology, four in, your, in military, three in ophthalmology, and 142 of you participated in the regular NRMP match. At the conclusion of SOAP yesterday, of the students graduating in 2022, 100% of you have matched, 100%. Okay, got, got to keep going. 52% or 78 um, num members of the class are entering primary care specialties, such as family, psych, internal medicine, peds, and OB-GYN. Hold the applause. 47% of students are remaining in New York State, 12 in preliminary positions and 59 in full residency training. Three students will be at St. Joe's, two for transitional years and one for full residency. And 24 of you are remaining right here at Upstate Medical University, seven for preliminary and 17 for full residency. That's awesome. So with that, I'm going to get off this stage. If you are here for a faculty award, please just hang out. If we, if we have time after the video, we will do it immediately following. If not, we will do it immediately following all the hooping and hollering. Okay. Turning it back. So the reason Dean White had to go through so quickly is because our match video is like really long compared to the other years and we also have a surprise video after that. I don't know if you want to talk about the match video. Um, I just want to thank everyone that participated in the match day video. It's something I'd been dreaming about doing since probably before I was even in medical school. So thank you all for participating and I hope that you all like it. Thank you.
And for, we also have a surprise video that's going to be played immediately after the match day video. And we'd like to thank Brandon Zafudo for the amazing idea. Even though he's not graduating with our class, he will be um, here in support all day today. And uh, we'd also like to thank the Alumni Foundation for helping us, you know, support the funding for the uh, surprise video. So thank you. yet. Hey Sydney, did you do your rank list yet? Hey Sydney, did you submit your rank list yet? Not yet. So what are you guys doing about your rank list? Have you submitted your order yet? I don't know, virtual interviews? I have no idea what's going first. Yeah, they, uh, I swear, if someone asks me one more time, do you have any more questions for me? I'm going to drop out. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I have been hearing everyone talking about this, and I can't do it anymore. But there's this program that I really, really love, but I'm way too nervous about it. Why don't you try sending them a letter of intent? You never know. It can help. Truth is, I have written one already, but I'm just too nervous to send it. Just gotta send it. Just gotta send it. Just gotta send it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dr. Glass. We just got a letter of intent from a student saying they're ranking us number one. If you want to take a look at it, another one? I'll take a look. Smile. 
Welcome to our interview today. Of course, we would much rather be hosting you in person, uh, but we have to do it this way. Um, so just hang with us for a few minutes. We'll get back to you and the official interview day will start pretty soon. All right, so let's go around everyone and I'll say a fun fact about ourselves. Hi, Dr. Chin. Thank you for taking the time to interview me today. Uh, Dr. Chin, you, you're muted. I cannot hear anything you're saying right now. You're still muted. Does anyone have any questions? Um, yeah. So I, uh, oh, no. Yeah. No, you're you good. can. You go. You go. You go. You, me? Yeah. It's not. It's not important. Go well. Ahead. Okay. Well. So my 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 question. Yeah. So well, I was wondering. Oh. So tell me, do you have any questions about our program today? Yeah, so thanks so much for asking about our call schedule. So we have a really excellent call schedule. It's Q1, um, 24 hour calls all the time. All right, so if you could be any fruit, what kind of fruit would you be? And tell me how that reflects who you are as an individual and how will you progress as a fruit through residency? Hey, yeah, I have a question. What's your favorite part about the program? Yeah, Nick, so the something that's really unique here is the people. The people here are the best. All right, I have blabbed enough. Do you have any questions for me? So what questions do you have for me? So do you have any questions for me? Do you have any questions for me? Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. There's endless programs, how many apps do I send? Want to submit, but my letters still aren't for envelope distribution. So Lori, for, I'm sorry, Nakia Chambers has A through C. Nakia, Nakia is over here, A through C. Don't go until everybody's got a, a, where they're going. Crystal Ripa, D through F. Simone, 
G through G, G through K. Simone, where are you? Oh, there you are. Stephen, L through M. Sarah Nichols, N through P. Marianne Grandinetta, R through S. Jennifer Abbott, T through Z. Go to your appropriate location. We are not handing them out until noon. Three minutes, we have three minutes. Do not open the envelopes, please. We will get in trouble if you open them early. Just hold on to them. Two minutes. No, no, no. Psych. That better be a psych. Okay, student affairs people, have you distributed all of the envelopes? Student affairs, give me a wave if you have distributed your envelopes. Give me a wave, yes? All are distributed, Jennifer Welch? All of them? Okay, 45 seconds. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Open!
All right, everybody. We did it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to play the second video now. Everyone, we're going to play the second video now. So. Hello to the SUNY Upstate College of Medicine class of 2022. It's Dr. Glockham Flecken. Hey, you did it. All of you. You made it to match day. I just want to say congratulations to all of you uh, and a very special congratulations to all of you who have chosen ophthalmology as a career. The rest of you have done great too. Like you're, 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 it's fine. You know what? The the specialties you chose are important. Uh, it's just yeah, it's not ophthalmology, but. To be honest, we, we can't all go into ophthalmology. If everybody was an ophthalmologist, we'd have problems in society. Significant problems. Uh, because as we all know, ophthalmologists are um, somewhat afraid of going into the hospital. Not even somewhat, just very much so afraid of hospitals. Uh, so we need all of you hospital-based doctors out there, and uh, we need all of you doing all the wonderful things that you're going to end up doing. And uh, I just want to take a moment uh, to, to reflect on, on what all you have done um, over the last four years, especially really the last two years. Uh, nobody in medicine has done what you all have been doing, and that's uh, learning how to be a doctor during a pandemic. It, that is, it's um, the, the amount of disruption it has caused uh, to your uh, daily lives, your education, being, uh, having to be uh, distanced from each other, not being able to learn and, and talk to each other and form those, those uh, relationships that are, that are so vital to getting us through uh, medical education, which it can be very difficult at times. I mean, you all had to go through biochem and metabolism. Like it's not, and you all had to forget it and then probably learn it again for step one. You all did that socially distanced, which is uh, really uh, just a testament to, to how, um, to your perseverance, to, to how, um, how brilliant all of you are. And so I just, I got to say, just well done. Uh, I am so impressed by all of you. Everyone is. And, uh, and now nothing can stop you. If you can get through, getting through you know, med school during a pandemic, you can do anything. Honestly, you're going to uh, do incredible things. Um, even those of you who decided that ophthalmology wasn't for you, it's okay. I don't hold it against you at all. Um, uh, and I'm just, uh, I'm just so excited for all of you. And I want to leave you just with one piece of advice, something that I learned um, um, in, in residency, and that is uh, that your residents, your co-residents, um, they're family. Residency is a family. You're going to spend, sometimes you'll spend more time with your co-residents and the people in your program than you will with your own family members. And, uh, and treat it as family. That means supporting each other, uh, offering to help each other when you need it. Uh, because whenever you get into residency, things can happen in life. You're all in your you know, mid to late 20s, early 30s, late 30s. In that range, things happen in life. Life events you get sick. A family member gets sick. Maybe a family member dies. Maybe a friend of yours, maybe you get divorced or you get married or you have a kid. There's all kinds of things. Life events start happening in this time in your life. Things that you don't expect. And, uh, and so be there for each other. All right. Offer to help each other. That's the only way to really get through, um, something as, as challenging as, uh, residency, but also just a career in medicine. Uh, you got to be there for each other. You got to support each other. Okay, uh, and um, and I, I learned that uh, in going through a cancer diagnosis during residency, something that I didn't expect, and I was offered a lot of help from the people around me who supported me, who loved me, and so be that for somebody else. Okay, uh, and uh, but above all else, just have fun because resident. Oh, you, it's going to be so much. It's going to be so awesome. You're going to learn things. You're going to do things that you never thought you'd do. Uh, you're going to do it really exciting. You're going to make some mistakes along the way. You will. All of you will. All right, multiple mistakes. You're going to feel really bad about it too. But 
but it's going to turn you into a, a, a fantastic doctor in whatever specialty you're in. And, uh, and you're going to have a lot of fun along the way. So enjoy this moment. Congratulations on match. I wish you all the best. Take care.